For thousands of years, during times of war and peace, humans have used pigeons to deliver messages. People like the Rockefellers are reputed to have used pigeons to carry sensitive financial information. Well-known commanders such as Alexander the Great and Julius Caesar were said to have employed pigeons to communicate across their vast empires. And in World Wars I and II, both sides maintained large pigeon corps. The United Kingdom alone is reported to have engaged some 200,000 pigeons during the Second World War. It is somewhat ironic that pigeons, a symbol of peace, are perhaps best known for their efforts carrying messages during times of war. Bullets, poisonous gases, sabotage, bad weather, and hundreds of kilometres were all unable to completely stop the valiant birds. Well known through accounts in many books and movies is the story of Sher Ami, a bird whose name means dear friend. This pigeon delivered a message that led to the rescue of the 194 men of the Lost Battalion in World War I, despite losing an eye and leg to enemy fire during the flight. In World War II, 32 Allied pigeons were awarded the Dickon Medal for Bravery, the animal equivalent of the Victoria Cross. All this leads us to the obvious question. How do messenger pigeons know to where or whom their precious cargo is to be delivered? Well, the answer isn't quite as magical as you may be imagining. You can't simply instruct the bird in English to deliver this message to the general. Unlike radio, email, or Hogwarts owls, messenger pigeons are a form of one-way communication. The key is in one of their other names, homing pigeons. At the age of four to six weeks, the young pigeon is placed in its home loft, and this loft will be the location it instinctively flies back to for its entire life. When used in war, pigeons would be carried out by soldiers, pilots or scouts, who would keep the bird caged until the need to send a message arises. Then, the secret note would be placed in a capsule attached to the pigeon, and the bird released. The pigeon then flies back to the loft and lands at its home, having fulfilled its mission. These home lofts were typically stationed in safer locations, tens or hundreds of kilometres from the front lines. In these safer areas, telegraph lines or runners could be used to relay the message to its intended recipient. In summary, messenger pigeons know where they are expected to deliver their message, because the location is always the same their home. Despite what books and movies might lead you to believe, these marvellous birds are not able to be dispatched to various locations at will. This video is part of a series where I answer common pigeon related questions. If you have a question you'd like answered, please leave it in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe to learn more. Thank you.